Should YouTubers and content creators care about the children that watch their channel? Should they be intentional about the content they create? I would say absolutely 100% yes, but some people disagree with me. And the argument that is typically posed is this, not my kid, not my problem. Their parents shouldn't let them watch my content. I don't make content for kids. Bull. Loney. Some of the biggest YouTubers on the planet, Mr. Beast being one of them, obviously makes content geared towards young children. He says it himself. And for a long time, I've said, it just feels scummy. It feels like they are exploiting children because children are easily tricked. I think children are smart, but I think they're also easily tricked. And let me just say really quick, my full-time job is in education. I work as an elementary assistant principal. I work with 700 kids all year long. I have given most of my life to caring for children. And I, I always had this mission, even when I I was in high school, I thought, man, I really want to impact people in a positive way, especially those people who don't have good home lives. Those were kids that I deeply cared about because no one's there for them. I wanted to be there for them. I think we've lost sight of the village mentality in this world. Content creation has become so selfish and so self-driven and so, what can I gain? How many subscribers can I get? What kind of money can I get? The people stop thinking about the other person on the end of the line. Every video I make is focused on what value am I bringing to you? And I think a lot of YouTubers do that. A lot of YouTubers approach YouTube, they know their audience and they bring value to that audience and they care about their audience. And because of that, their channels are not as big and not as popular as they could be. I think there are YouTubers who have great, like large channels who are not scummy. I, I really think there are, but I think there are some and, and we can all talk about them like Mr. Beast for, for days on end. Look at it. It's blowing. It's exploding. It's going crazy. It's going crazy. I don't know why people are so shocked. Like, <gasps> look at his videos, people. Look at what he's been doing. It's obvious you're using generosity as a masquerade to make yourself look nice so that you can then get money from the people who watch your videos. If you wanna be generous and you want no personal gain from it, you will give something away and not tell a soul. In the Bible, Jesus says, don't let your left hand know what your right hand is doing when you give money away. Because there were Pharisees back then that would literally blow trumpets when they gave away a hundred bucks. It was like Mr. Beast now. <laughs> Everybody look at me. I'm giving away money to this poor, helpless, homeless man. I'm doing a good deed. and God will bless me for it. And the thing was, no, God didn't bless them. Other people did. Because it was like, well, well, if he gave him a hundred bucks, he might give me a hundred bucks. And it's a selfish mindset of what can I get from this person? And we're raising a generation of kids who think, what can I get from YouTube? Like, what can I, maybe I'll become a big famous YouTuber and make lots of money and just play video games all day and make no positive impact on the world. I have nothing wrong with video game YouTubers. I have nothing wrong with someone who makes content for a living, but I do have something wrong with someone who makes content solely focused on their own selves, selfish agenda. I just wish the world was a little more concerned with taking taking care of those that they have in their care. I dream of a world where we care for other people's kids, not because we have to, but because it's the right thing to do. You'll notice that my content is not made for kids, even though I work with a bunch of kids. I don't tell kids about my YouTube channel. I try to keep it as conspicuous as possible because I don't, I, I, it, to me, it feels scummy when a five-year-old is obsessed with your content. That's why you notice, watch my video, go watch my videos. My most recent videos have really cut back on the B-roll, they've cut back on the, on the cuts because I don't want content that's going to negatively impact your brain. I bet you looked away a couple times in this video. I bet you got bored a couple times. Good. I want you to. I want you to put your phone down. I want you to go live your life. But I also want you to think about this. Content creators have a responsibility to the audiences they serve, whether they like it or not. They should be held accountable when they're exploiting their audience, when they are soliciting their audience, when they are having inappropriate relationships with their audience. There should be accountability there. The Mr. Beast situation is disgusting, but I'm not surprised. And he won't be the last. He won't be the last. Give it a year. We'll all forget about this. And someone else will be the next one in another year. And someone else will be the next one. When your only goal in your life is selfish, financial gain. You may get rich. You may have some fun. But at the end of the day, you will go to bed knowing you have done no good in this world. You have made no difference. And that to me is failure. I go to bed knowing that I've done my best. I may not be rich. I may not be famous. But at least I go to bed and sleep in peace. If you made it this far, thank you for watching. I didn't want to crap on Mr. Beast too much because I'm not one to kick someone while they're down. I just had to address this. If you enjoyed the video, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching.